some of you that have installed iOS 14, you may experience some bug and it doesn't work properly. And sometimes you want to downgrade back to iOS 13. So I'm going to show you in this video how to downgrade back to iOS 13.5.1 without having to lose all of the data on your device. So as you can see, I have Netflix and YouTube on my iPad Air 2. So if I go to settings here, so you're going to see I have iOS 14 running on my iPad Air 2. So you're going to go back to your computer. And this is a tutorial on the window. And it is pretty simple. You need to download 3U tool. And then you're going to connect your iPad into your PC. One thing that I want to mention, the first time that you connect your device into your PC, you're going to trust it. Otherwise, 3U tool doesn't recognize your iPad or your iPhone. So make sure you hit on trust. And then you're going to go to flash and jailbreak. And you're going to find easy flash right here on the left side. And you can see I have iOS 13.5.1 and it is downloaded. So in this software, it allows you to download IPSW too. So to download IPSW, you need to go to firmware on the left side. Then you're going to select your device. And for me, I have the iPad. And then you're going to select iPad Air 2. And for me, iPad Air 2. And you need to scroll and find iOS 13.5.1. And for the iPad, we have two versions. The first one, it is Wi-Fi. And the second one, it is Wi-Fi plus SIM card. So you need to select the correct firmware for your device. And for me, it is the iPad Air with Wi-Fi. One more thing, for the iPhone, you have GSM and Global. So to check which your iPhone is, so whether it is GSM or Global, you, you can check in the link in my video description. So I have the link that explains about that. And now we're going to go back to EC Plus. And because I have already downloaded IPSW, that's why it say download it. And then at the bottom here, you need to check Retain User Data. This option allows you to save data after you downgrade. And then you can click on Flash. And now click on Flash once again.
Now the restoration has been complete and you can see we have um, congratulations retain data flash completed. If you see on your iPad, you're gonna see this page. So you're gonna click on the home button and then unlock with your passcode. So if you have passcode on iOS 14 and after you downgrade, you're gonna um, need to enter your old passcode and then we're gonna attempting data recovery so we're gonna wait for this process to finish and for this process it is depend on how much data that you have on ios 14 so after downgrade it's gonna ask you to do that because we click on retain user data and then we're gonna have the data the same as ios 14 and after you downgrade to um, 13.5.1 and now attempting data recovery has been finished and for this process it, um, it took me about 10 minutes and you can see here I still have YouTube and Netflix and now when you go to settings and go to about right here you can see I am currently running on iOS 13.5.1 and this is an easy method that you can downgrade without having to restore and completely lose your data and you can still have your data on your device and you, you can see here when I go to YouTube, YouTube is still working perfectly fine. And on Netflix, it does the same thing. So it is still working. Finally, thanks for watching. I hope this method is help you. Then I will catch you guys in the next one.